All right, before the video starts with Bounty Syndicate, please check out the link in the description, which is a short skit, very much like a lot of the meme cards intros, but without the meme cards, obviously, in the end, with an actual, you know, storyline, three little separate storylines, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Here's a little preview. Oh my god, this is it! I've been listening to this song for weeks now. It's a straight banger. I'm telling you guys. And yeah, let me just move on to the deck guide now. I'm going to be doing, I think, a more bit more deck guides now. Uh, because I want to also promote the short skits. So yeah. Blood Money Syndicate. Uh, yeah, this is just simply bounty. Uh, what is important in bounty? I think it's important to not be too focused on bounty, but also be very focused on bounty, which is kind of hard. So your bronze package is mainly just Witch Hunter Executioner and Confession Extractor. The rest is just Poison and Open Sesame, which gives you access to some coins. Uh, yeah, the, the thing about this deck, the, the, the problem with this deck is it's, it's very draw-dependent on certain cards, and if your opponent deals with those cards, it's very hard to come back from. So what you want to be doing is you want to be playing as uninteractive early on and then just have that one turn where you're gaining a lot of value. And it, it and and after that turn, you don't really care if you, the opponent deals with your stuff. You also play Albertus Kalkstein. You could cut Court, but I do like both of them because they both serve a purpose in this deck. Yeah, I, I think you can cut the Brute. I don't think the Brute is necessary in this deck. It, he is a big of, bit of a bomb. Actually, I think he Brute... Get at rid of Ignatius. I don't like Ignatius. There's a lot better cards at 9. I'd rather actually play Azar Javid than Ignatius. Because if Ignatius is already at 18, you've already pretty much won the game already. It's kind of just an overkill card. It's a, it's it's so I think this card is the win more card of the deck. Whereas everything else kind of enables the win. And if I play Azar instead of Ignatius, um, then maybe... That gives us more win than win more. So, yeah, maybe cut Ignatius Hale for Azar Javid. Just to be able to protect things like the Scoundrel, things like Caleb Menge, things like Freak Show, things like the Executioner. Because those are actually essential to your game plan. And, yeah, it's also really good against certain decks that play very little units. And want to have, like, have like a lot of tall punish and stuff. So then the Azar Javid does work better than Ignatius. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the deck did quite well. It actually got me to rank 2 from rank 3. Because previously we played Kambi and Sienna, which is also a video. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's not in the description probably. But it's the last video uploaded. So uh, yeah, that's the deck. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Probably not. <laughs> I've probably already used all the the things that I could do in this in this one in this one and a half month that I played the game. Hopefully not, but I don't know, man. We have now we have too many coins and no way to spend for our bounty. That's not really what you want, is it? Yeah, this is the problem with with this deck. Like If you don't draw these or this dude. Y you don't really know what you want to do here. Right, you know what? Screw it. We'll just play the the boy here. The elders must put a stop to this rebellion, else they will face devastation. The extractor has done some work here. What? On eight? You're passing on eight? I mean, sure. Don't mind me. 
I'm happy with with him passing on eight here. Basically just forgot the fundamental rules of the game. Okay, where are my... Hello? <sighs> Thank you. Jesus Christ, that would have been very freaking annoying. not bad i mean i'll spend this these this coinage I kind of want to get rid of his best cards here okay Interesting card to play in a harmony deck. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna pass here. And hope to find, I don't know, better stuff here, I guess. I need at least two of these. In case the first one gets dealt with. That's an okay draw. Uh, uh. It's okay, but it could have been better. It could have been better. Please hit this. Nice, sir. That's the last one of this. Okay. We got a little loop going. Ow. Okay. I mean, this is bounty at its finest, right? Yeah, this is just bounty at its finest. Mm. You can't wish for something better than this right now. Especially with the leader ability as well. Oh, this is going to be a lot of value. This is going to be a lot of value. Let me tell you this. Interesting, okay. So we kill this first. So we don't have bounty on the board anymore. We can deal 12? Jesus. Then we do this on this. So if we're dealing 12, we get four extra coins. So let's deal 12 here. Oh my god. Yeah, this is when bounty is actually good, huh? It's kind of unfair when bounty is good. 
Like, what does the opponent do here? Quite virtually nothing, honestly. You play something, it dies. Wait, how big is this dude now? Oh my god, Prophet 9? Jeez Louise. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, we... We could have spent more here. Yeah, we definitely could have spent a little bit more here. Yeah, whatever. Profit 10, love it. Great. Exactly what you want. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Holy moly. That's absolutely absurd. I never even stood a chance, the poor lad. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, jeez, Louise. Boom. Look at the pouch. <laughs> oh, my God. That is slightly absurd, honestly. 14, how about 18, my friend? Yeah, I mean, that wasn't even fair, though. Yeah, that was a bit ridiculous, actually. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's, a, it's just a tempo deck, right? It's just nothing more, nothing less, right? So, it's not much, really, to complain about there. Okay. Sounds surprisingly good. This heart, this hand can do a lot. Hey, this is this is the problem with it because this is actually like just a combo deck. It's like two card combos all the all the way through. There's no card that just like you play and it says give me value immediately like a uh, like a blight maker for example. Oh Jesus! You never like seeing that turn one. Uh huh. Sure. Now I'm curious. You've picked my curiosity. I'll, I'll I'll bite. I'll bite. Why does he want to play golem first? What kind of nonsense have you got planned for me here, sir? Okay, that's good. I like the idea of Menge. Understandable. And see, this is like the thing now. Now I have no way of actually giving bounty. Like, you have to have a certain amount of bounty stuff. It's so stupid. What are these weird decks we're playing today? I'm kind of curious now. Alright, well, we're not winning that, then. Yeah, I mean, Nilfgaard literally only needs one card in their deck, and it's this one. I mean, if you have it twice, that's also really good. Like, 11 points 
unconditionally is just kind of insane, right? Like how did how this card has not found the nerf ha hammer is just absurd to me. Uh, I have no way to give multiple bounties such as that. This is also a problem. Like, how do you how do you dry pass with this nonsense? I mean, what the hell even is this deck? Oh, it's constructs. Oh my god, it's actually constructs. That's freaking hilarious. That is actually quite hilarious. Knowledge is a weapon of great power. It is actually constructs. That's so dumb. Oh my god, that's so stupid. It's actually... Uh, now I'm realizing it. Okay. Yeah, good old constructs, huh? Classic. Classic good old constructs. Okay, open sesame is nice here. I want to play this first, though. Okay, we have a bunch of ways to give... Um, bounty and, and take bounty, let's say, like this. Yeah, that's a big lad. Oh, we've hit it every time, huh? Alright, sweet. Good good charge on this dude now, as well. Sure. Three, five plus me. Deals eight, okay. <clears throat> How much we're dealing eight here? This guy's gonna be big, let me tell you. Rude. Ah, oh, where's my Kalkstein? I just realized. Ow. That's slightly rude, lad. Getting nine coins here. That looks good. Seems good. 16 give 4 profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. The one. Where are your constructs, bro? Donde esta les constructes? Why not sesame? Before brute? Oh yeah, I, I guess so. It makes more sense, but... I mean, sesame isn't really for its counters. It's just kind of like, give money. Give money. Give money or die. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh 11. Ooh, 11 points. Wow, your parents must be proud of you playing 11 points and stuff. I 
have no real reason not to just play this for six. <laughs> Sorry, for ten here. I don't see him playing any engines anyway. It's just a mid-range nonsense deck. Even though mid-range actually, no, no. It's, it, this is just like pure point slam, right? I'm talking pure point slam right there. Sure. Yeah, you would have liked to have your invocation now, wouldn't you? Yeah, don't care. I mean, yeah, his his colossal dude is, is okay. Gets a lot of points here. It's like nowhere near enough, right? Sure. Boop. I mean, he had no way of doing the cooldown anyway, right? All right, sure. Battle Tranzo. All right. Just pray they don't have Gremist, I guess. Right? They don't have that much control. Which is good for us. Mm -hmm. Double poison. Double extractor. Ain't bad. Double extractor is actually kind of funny. Well, I'll get rid of one, though. Oh, that's a nice draw. All right. Okay. Let's not hide ourselves here. He knows what we're playing. Some good old blood money. Okay, what's up with this now? This is kind of funny. But at the same time, it's better just do this, right? Oh, makes me the best pie. Well, this is good. This is actually surprisingly strong. The reason why is because it actually spawns in the graveyard. Now that I think about it, this is pretty good. That is pretty good. Huh? All right. I don't have no choice but to just try and kill this thing. That's fine. You might play another one or... Do something else. I guess I could have poisoned there. Yeah, there. I'll, I'll poison this one. I'll, po I'll just chill and poison this one, I guess. Okay, that's good for our game plan. So we're up by a few here. Okay, that's not amazing. Can we pass? I cannot pass. That is frustrating. I don't need to think here. This is the way. Okay. Happy with this. Actually very happy with this. I don't think I I think I don't think you too old with this deck. This deck it makes no sense. It's a combo deck. You need as many like combo pieces in your hand as possible. So I think this is fine to just... Oh, this is interesting. 
would like yes this is okay maybe maybe with this hand you are actually able to 2-0 someone but we don't have any poise like, we don't have tall punish i guess maybe i should just force out the giddiness i don't know this this is a bit of a weird one Yeah, without tall punish though, this is a bit of an issue. That's tall punish. That's another tall punish. All right, perfect. We don't have the candle, but that's fine. I think we have enough sort of spenders in this moment. Like having Witchfinder and Caleb in the same round is actually kind of insane, isn't it? Okay, there's the getting up. You do expect to see it. I guess I could have killed this now. Oh, that's fine. And four here. Play this out. Thank you. Okay. That's his heat wave. That's probably his only form of removal here. Which means I don't think he can play around Caleb Menge. Okay. Okay. I'll kill all of these bitches, man. Trust me. <laughs> they all need to die. The only thing I want to see is these crows on his side of the field. Hermione. Yes, yes, yes. Lol. <laughs> nice mardrum, you donkey. Get the hell out of here. You absolute donkey. You completely donkeyed it, lad. What can I say? You donkeyed it. He donkeyed it. You don't go full donkey, man. Okay. How big would he have been now? 4-4. Four, four. What did he just do? Rude! You had another removal, didn't ya? You bloody bastard. Okay. That's fine. Oh, that's perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. One v one Gwent, bro. You won't do it. No balls. Bruh. <laughs> that what chat is? Just a bunch of people trying to prov provocate me. I mean, this looks pretty good, though. This look pretty good, man. You know what it is, man? Yeah, my opponent just said no. No, thank you. Too much. Good stuff. Yeah, that was a, that was a bit unfair, honestly, but... So be the game. Sometimes. <laughs> Our control deck is like an engine deck, actually, which is kind of funny. Yeah, also that more drum play for him. Okay. Impasta. Impasta, impasta. Impasta is our... Has been my mortal enemy so far today. I've seen like eight of them, I think. Easily, easily more than eight, even. It has just been a bit frustrating to play against it as well, to be honest. Oh, but I so be Gwent, so be Gwent. 
that do be Gwen sometimes. All right, Mr. Opponent, what are you going to do? Okay. Point of this thinking. I mean, this deck is all about play some non normie deck, Hobla. What do you mean? Bro, I literally just played double Camby with Cyana. Like. Dude, <laughs> let me let me have some fun with bounty, bro. <laughs> Please, Please stop telling me what to do, man. I I understand, like it. This is not like your most anti-meta deck, but have you? I, I mean, do you see this on ladder? Because apparently, this is all I see on ladder, and I'm not playing this. So, I've not seen a single one of these. So, I just got here. Well. Then tomorrow's video is gonna make you very happy because there's some very funny moments in it. So make sure to check it out when it comes out, bro. Life is mine now. Right. Douche. Get absolutely poisoned, son. Dude, how do I. What do I even do here? I think I'll just play out the, the brutes, right? No, not the brute, the, the scoundrel. Ignatius. Oh wait, no, it's not Ignatius. It's Fabian Hale, right? Man, I really thought this was gonna this was gonna be insane. Like, I actually just thought this was gonna be mad. Okay. One coin, I guess. Okay. Okay. I've realized you shouldn't play pay the tribute on this card ever. Makes no sense. The information isn't worth it. Like you get to see what your opponent, what kind of bronze your opponent has. I know what kind of bronze my opponent has. Makes no sense to figure that one out any further. Okay, we need to get the ball out here. We need to pretty much... Oh, man. Actually, Azar might be good in this deck. And that's not even a cap. Like, that's actually a full-on proper opinion, you know? Imagine, actually, an opinion. A controversial opinion that Azar Javid might be good in this deck. Like, this card, the, the thing with this card, right? If you get this card to work, if this card is, is not like, if this card is actually 18, you've already won the game, right? Whereas if I have Azar, I have the potential to actually win the game, and the 18 points are excessive at that point, right? So, that's what I'm thinking right now. Well, goddamn. <laughs> uh. <sighs> God damn it. I do respect this a lot. But come on. On an empty board with nothing? You gotta be kidding me here, bro. Oh, you gained excess 
Oh my god, this card is so broken. This card is actually so freaking obnoxious. Card is really stupid. <laughs> I overprofited here a bit, but I guess I could have played one of the executioners. But then he yoinks it, right? I don't want to. I don't want him to yoink oh nothing dear. here. Have I something in my team? Which one's bigger? Uh, it's fifty. That sucks. All right, we'll just do this then. I guess. Hold up. Are we gonna do this though? What if I do just play this out now? This feels a lot stronger to me. How much does it deal? Seven, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Um, the church welcomes all. All are free to convert. Yeah, he might have Vincent. That's a pretty clever play if he has Vincent. I have no idea what he's playing, though. Oh, it's double Vats here, isn't it? Okay, now I get it. <laughs> I do now get it, yeah. Okay, so that, that thing needs to die. That thing does need to die. God, this card is so freaking absurd. So, spend tribute on this. Kill you. Game four looks decent. There's the ball. All right, now we're out of here. Now we're now we say goodbye. I guess I could have clicked the coins, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, see that's what he was planning to do, right? Wait, why did the Vincent get a boost there? I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, uh, do 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 do. How big is our boy? Not too big, right? He's alright, man, right? He's alright. Uh. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Alright, take that. <clears throat> So we have two statuses we can take or give. So how much is he now? He's one. Okay. That's kind of cute. Okay, perfect. So we'll play this next turn. This will be nice on the Brute as well. The shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of confused by this now, but... Can't really trigger the Caleb now. Even though I really want to. But the fact that he didn't kill the Menge makes me very confident. Makes me confident I can kill two things next turn, which is very important. Yeah, so I think I had to sequence. I mean, I could have played this first and then on the Caleb. Yeah, but that probably would have been smarter, but I needed to... I guess I could have... Nah, that's, that's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Badoosh. Boom. 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 
boom, boom, boom. Wait, did I over profit there? I might have over profited there. Um, that's fine though. Boom, 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 boom. Get healthy again, son. All right, three damage. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, that looks like a chunky lad. Ah, see, that's what they always do against this deck. That's what they always do against this. They just, they're just like, nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm status nilf guard. Do, 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 do. So toxic. <laughs> oh man. I've been playing a lot of Syndicate lately, huh? Been on that Syndicate vibe. Alright. Have you tried Giga Armor with Heimei Protector? Wait, Heimei Protector works with armor though? I didn't know that actually. I thought armor I think Always good to see Nate Nilfgaard rage quitting. Yeah, yeah. But but like Heimei doesn't work with armor, right? What kind of what kind of idea is that? You have you have piqued my interest. That's oh, why you've piqued my curiosity. Okay, to be fair, the guy played Vat here. I got to respect him for that. Actually, actually I'm sorry opponent. I made fun of you. You played Vat here. You're not you're not the typical Nilfgaard player, so I do have to I do have to give you credit for that. So, 